Hi friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Friday, May 7th, 2021. This week we have been talking about revelation. A revelation is literally a revealing of something. And so in the next few moments, I invite you to think about how God has been revealed to you through being part of a faith community. Our word from the psalmist today is Psalm 98 from the New Revised Standard Version. Listen now for God's word to us. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with a lyre with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, make joyful noises before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing together for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. For your tender mercy's sake, we pray. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, verses 5 through 9 from the Common English Bible. Listen for God's word. God the Lord says, the one who created the heavens, the one who stretched them out, the one who spread out the earth and its offspring, the one who gave birth to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for a good reason. I will grasp your hand and guard you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the nations, to open blind eyes to lead the prisoners from prison and those who sit in darkness from the dungeon. I am the Lord. That is my name. I don't hand out my glory to others or my praise to idols. The things announced in the past, look, they've already happened, but I'm declaring new things. Before they even appear, I tell you about them. I love this imagery of God grasping our hands and guarding us. When in your life have you felt secure in God's embrace? Our New Testament reading today comes from Acts chapter 10, verses 34 through 43 from the Common English Bible. This is a continuation of Peter's conversation with Cornelius, which we read yesterday. Listen again for God's word. 
Peter said, I really am learning that God doesn't show partiality to one group of people over another. Rather, in every nation, whoever worships him and does what is right is acceptable to him. This is the message of peace he sent to the Israelites by proclaiming the good news through Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. You know what happened throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism John preached. You know about Jesus of Nazareth, whom God anointed with the Holy Spirit and endowed with power. Jesus traveled around doing good and healing everyone oppressed by the devil because God was with him. We are witnesses of everything he did, both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him up on the third day and allowed him to be seen, not by everyone, but by us. We are witnesses whom God chose beforehand, who ate and drank with him after God raised him from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and of the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. This is Peter's first real evangelization mission to those outside of his Jewish community. How do you think he was feeling in that moment? Let us pray. O God and creator of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and people everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Friends, may the strength of God guide you this day, and may God's power sustain you forever. Go in peace and stay well. I'll see you tomorrow.